Hi guys, now this is one I've been meaning to make a long time ago, this video. And what it is, is um, I got a lot of attention on, um, or rather the chain that I made, got a lot of attention on social media. Um, people really seem to like it and um, everyone seemed to think it took a long time. So I wanted to take this, this opportunity just to do a really quick video, hopefully <laughs> all going well. A really quick video just to show you it doesn't take forever and uh, show you how I did it. So let's crack on. So let's have a look down on the table. Okay, wrong one. There we go. Right, so that's what I'm going to sort of make. Now what I've prepared and what I'm going to do, it's going to look like a, the chain links are going to be closer to the, the length of these ones on the end here. Again, if you're doing it for orcs, it doesn't need to be particularly neat. It can be, it's supposed to be ramshackle, isn't it? So that is what we're going for. Let's move that out of the way. So what I usually do is, I usually start off with, um, should we imagine this is a long piece of plastic card running this way. And then I try and sort of gauge it as to, I say, well, I'm going to need to cut this two times or three times to get the little links to the, to the length I want. So in this particular instance, I want to cut it into two. Fairly simple. Take an X-Acto knife, Stanley blade, whatever you use, score the middle, give it a snap. Two pieces. Then it's just a matter of taking the corners off, which is easily done. Again, you don't need to be overly neat because the whole idea is that it looks a bit random. Apologies for the clicking because this is quite close to the camera and it's the uh, the camera that I'm using for the mic as well. There we go. What we've ended up with there is two links. Now, in true Blue Peter fashion, here's some I made earlier. So that's as simple as it is. Now, for each little bit of the chain, you need three of those. So hopefully I've got enough here to, to link together quite a few. Get my plastic glue. It's probably too close to put on this one, so I tend to use Umbrol. That's backwards because I always reverse my cameras. <laughs> oh, it's easier, so I can tell if I point that way, I'm pointing that way instead of going, woo! Anyway, moving on. So what I tend to do, I can move some of these out of the way. It's really quite simple. You put some glue on two of the pieces and then you get a third part. Drop it on the floor. Pick it up, that's your exercise for the day. Stick that on there. And stick that on there now. It's worth mentioning that you get a little bit of leeway on these. So you see what I've done there. So the two bits together. And you end up with basically that. Fairly intuitive, right? You don't need to get it perfect. Then what I tend to do, stick a piece of piece, a bit of glue on either side, get two more bits, and then stick those bits to either side. Again, really simple. Sorry, I'm doing this off camera. It's not very good, is it? So what you end up with is that sort of thing going on. Then what I tend to do is, see the gap there? You can actually use the end of the glue applicator to just sort of make a bubble. It's gonna be hard to see that, but you can see that there. There's a bubble between the two pieces of plastic card. And then take the third piece of plastic card and just sort of, if you're lucky, cram it in the gap. And what it does is it picks up that plas plastic glue and uses it. End up with that, and then the same again. Bit on either side. Stick some on there. So as you can see, this is coming together quite quickly, and it didn't take all that long, to be honest, to to cut these pieces. As you saw, it didn't take very long at all to do the two. So now we've got that going on. I'll just do a couple more, and then I'll show you how it sort of how it maintains its while the glue's drying, which takes quite a bit of time. And of course, the more you put on, the longer you'll have the freedom to do this. So that's always good. Just do two more of these and then one on the other side. Oh, there we go. You can see it's not taking very long at all. 
And one last bit. This last big one. Huh. Stick in the end. So there we go. So bada boom. Not very long at all, or at least I hope it wasn't very long. <laughs> and everyone was a bit bored. We've ended up with that. No time at all. And of course, while the glue is is uh, not drying, but I suppose it's curing if it's plastic glue, you'll notice that you can sort of bend it back and forth like that. And uh, you've got time to play with it, basically, or you can straighten it out again and do that. You get a bit of time, maybe half an hour before this is properly set. So what I want to show you next is the last final touch, which I think sets the whole thing off, to be honest. That is, bear with me a moment, hex rod. So, as you can see there, this is hex rod. What you want to do is, you want to do it like this, put your blade just a little bit on. This is how I do all of my bolts. And then, again, always putting my finger in front of it, because these will ping off across the room. If you've got little kids, they're going to uh, eat them and all sorts. Just do a few more. Now, those of you who haven't worked with plastic card bits before at this point are thinking, how the hell do you get those tiny pieces onto the chain? That's going to be an absolute nightmare. Well, there's a trick that we, that we use, <laughs> that, uh, that we learn early on in doing this sort of thing. You literally just put a little dab of glue on the bits you want, and that stays sort of for a while and what you do is you use the spiky part of uh, whatever blade you're using and poke the pieces like that and they stay on and then they usually let go when you uh, make contact with glue it's as simple as that so you put lots of dots of glue onto your uh, onto your piece and then stick them on so we've done one side there just quickly do a few more on this side do 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 do. Like I say, I'm hoping this video isn't going on too long. So I wanted to try and make it as quick as possible to, uh, well, mainly to show what's possible. It doesn't always come off. And there we go. And we've run out. Wow, that was a, a big one that I cut on the top there, isn't it? Again, if you let that dry, you can trim that at a later date, no problem at all. And you see, it doesn't take very long at all. I mean, when you're talking that I, I, I only made for the, um, for this piece here, if you look at the length of that chain on top, and then I get my piece I've just made, stick it like that. So I've already done half the distance of the top of that. So two times again, and we've practically done the whole thing. Um, <clears throat> simple as that. And that was that, guys. So hope you enjoyed. Hope you found it informative. Um, I'll try and do some more. Any tips and tricks I, I discover in my playing around with plastic card as I continue. I'll try and get up videos of those. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed that and uh, hope to see you in the next one. Stay well, guys. Ta-ra.